letting y'all know I'm also watching the one shots with these MCU reactions. The abomination. They really don't like when you call them that. They're pinning that on Banner. On Banner? Not the guy you want to make angry. They consider Blonsky a war hero. That's about dumb as hell. I really want to understand why they having this thought process between wanting abomination over the Hulk. If we want the general to refuse this request, then we have to send someone who will truly annoy him. Okay, this is weird. Why do y'all have this after this movie if this takes place before? Um, I've always felt that hardware was much more reliable. I guess this goes more in depth on that end credit scene. Okay, so that's why it takes place after. So this is pretty much still in the You're timeline, the correct one. timeline. You should talk. You should listen. Dang, I thought they was gonna do a little bit more with that. Any word? Mission accomplished. The abomination will remain in his cage for now. Ross got so mad he tried to have him removed from the bar. How'd that go over? Stark bought the place. It's scheduled for demolition on Thursday. Damn, that's messed up. Okay, wow. That's crazy the type of people that would do some stuff like that when you have that amount of money, man. That's just a waste of money. This in, this one shot, it was cool. It was nice to go a little bit in depth on that whole end credit scene that they were showing with the Hulk. Um, I was a little bit confused at first, and then that's when I was seeing in the comments, a lot of people were saying that, oh, this takes place before this and everything. So that, that was mixing my head up, but no, this is actually the correct timeline. This takes place during the movie of The Incredible Hulk but it's just it's before that end credit scene so but uh that's what's up man now let's get into the avengers movie y'all the world will be his and the humans what can they do but burn what are you talking about we'll fight back you know humans is crazy we like animals in this oh snap the girl from how i met your mother clear out the tech below Every piece of phase two on a truck and gone. Hell yeah, phase two. Which phase is y'all favorite phase? I already know majority of people is gonna say phase three, but you know, everybody's different. Where's Agent Bart? Up in his nest as usual. Bruh. Look at this dude. What the hell is he doing up there, bro? You you just observing for no reason? Well, I see better from a distance. You acting like something's gonna happen where you need to use your bow and arrow? We're scientists, sir. A few moments later. Damn, that looks so good, bro. How the hell did that even happen? That boy Loki looking good with the new hairdo. Shoot, that last hairdo was looking kind of ridiculous. It was almost as bad as that dude from Stranger Things. Oh! I love seeing leaps like that, bro. Dang, that boy disintegrated. What in the world? Like, I don't know why people be doing this, man. If that was me, I would have been running my ass away. Like, y'all obviously see this dude cannot be killed. You have heart. So I know that those are two infinity stones right there. So do they just put both of the infinity stones within those casings? I am Loki and I am burdened with glorious purpose. We have no quarrel with your people. An ant has no quarrel with a boot. You planning to step on us? I come with glad tidings. I mean, he kind of already did. Once you accept that in your heart, you will know peace. This boy killing it already, man. I kind of think you mean the other thing. Sir, direct a furious stall. Say, was this the movie when Tom Hiddleston was doing the uh, Comic-Con thing with Loki? A lot of people say that's like one of the greatest Comic-Con moments. Who's that? You really just gonna let him walk free? That's the only question you're gonna ask, girl? Come on now. What the hell y'all doing, bro? Y'all feel like this place is about to collapse and y'all still carrying this heavy stuff around. I would have been dipped. I would love to do something like that, bro. Like Fast and Furious. That's badass. That has to be probably one of the best explosions I've ever seen in a movie, man. I think that probably was his home. You already know how weird that boy Nick Fury is. A lot of men still under. Don't know how many survivors. Dang, I was hoping everybody got out. As of right now, we are at war. What do we do? Call the Avengers. Hell yeah. Is Loki really an Avengers level threat though? That's the question you really need to ask. 
No, they didn't just backhand my woman like that. That's crazy. You, sir, are an asshole. Yeah, I, I know she's a badass, but I still be scared out of my mind in a situation like this. You're like, shoot, you know, I was trying to get up in there before, but now, just gonna have you splatter on the ground. Put the woman on the phone or I will blow up the block before you can make the lobby. I've been like, well, you're gonna kill her too, so... I'm in the middle of an interrogation. This moron is giving me everything. I don't give everything. <laughs> Let me put you on hold. Dang, that was easy. Why didn't y'all have her freaking hands tied up? Oh my God, look at the yiddies, bro. <laughs> Ooh, oh my God, in that dress? That's amazing. I'm mad that she cut her hair, bro. I love the long hair. That long hair was sexy as hell. Maybe those was just extensions. You know how I go. Oh, I didn't know he was in India. Kind of made yourself look sus right there in that moment, Bruce. And your actress, buddy, is she a spy too? They start that young. I did. Can't wait to know a little bit more about that. I'm here on behalf of S.H.I.E.L.D., but now we need you to come in. What if I say no? I'll persuade you. Oh, how you gonna do that, you feel me? I mean, we are alone. And what if the other guy says no? Oh yeah, you know, you he can't get too excited, I forget. The boy Hawk is Dr. selfish, man. He's like, you ain't getting none unless I'm getting some. He needs me in a cage. No one's gonna put you in Stop lying to me! Yeah, I, I would have trust issues just like him. I'm sorry, that was mean. I just wanted to see what you do. <laughs> Why don't we do this the easy way where you don't use that and the other guy doesn't make a mess? We're good here. Just you and me. Bro, what type of weapons did y'all have that would stop me, man? Come on now. You ever been in a war, Councilman? In a firefight? Did you feel an overabundance of control? We need a response team. The Avengers Initiative was shut down. This isn't about the Avengers. Why does the higher ups always have to be so freaking hard headed, man? Golly. Heck yeah, you gotta bring in the first Avenger in. Hey man, that punching bag didn't deserve that, man. It was only trying to do his job. <laughs> oh, he prepared for it. Maybe you should punch a metal wall or something instead of a punching bag. Trouble sleeping? Bill. Then you should be out seeing the world. With who? I have no friends. Everybody's dead. I think it would have been really cool to see like Captain America in just all the other wars after World War II or World War I, whichever one. Is there anything you can tell us about the Tesseract that we ought to know now? You should have left it in the ocean. Yo, these transitions between characters are fire, man. When it comes to the dialogue. Oh my God, it looks so good, bro. I would love to be in an Iron Man suit. I just want to fly. Light her up. Christmas, but with more me. We've got to go wider on the public awareness campaign. You need to do some press. Bro, only Tony Stark could do something like that, bro. Just show off his ego even more. I was gonna do this reaction wearing the Iron Man helmet. Like there's an Iron Man helmet you can get for like 400, 500, 600 dollars where the mask opens up and closes, all that stuff. Next building is gonna say pots on the tower. On the lease. Hell <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would have said something similar. That's one of the things that I love about these MCU movies. The casting has been amazing for all these characters. This is uh, this. We came a long way, y'all. I love that I'm watching this in timeline order, bro. This shit is fire. You mean when you finished? Well, um, then I'll eat your ass. You know, this girl pops a freak, bro. So this Dr. Banner was trying to replicate the serum they used on me? A lot of people were. I mean, I would like to be the Hulk more than Captain America, to be honest with you. Uh, we made some modifications to the uniform. Aren't the Stars and Stripes a little old-fashioned? Hell no, nah, man. These people stay happening. patriotic. The things that are about to come to light, people might just need a little old-fashioned. So I agree with Coulson right there. Restless. Let them guard themselves. You really that bored that you want to look at a memory? Okay. Especially a memory like this? I probably would have found a better memory to look at. He who put the scepter in your hand, who gave you ancient knowledge and new purpose when you were cast out. I was a king. 
the rightful king of Asgard, betrayed. Dang, I wish I would have saw that. Him meeting, uh, I guess they're talking about Thanos. Until your force is mine to command, you have it words. This dude is cocky as hell, bro. I respect it. If you fail, there will be no realm, no crevice where he cannot find you. I would like to know more about this dude, man. That design is fire. They told me you'd be coming. Word is you can find the cube. Is that the only word on me? Only word I care about. I like how Chris Evans talks when he plays Captain America. Kind of feel a, a little difference in his voice. You can hear it, you know, because in the 40s, you know, they used to talk a little different. I believe I can fly. Golly, all the girls sizing up Captain America like that. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> you know, he does got America's ass, though. That is America's ass. Well, I didn't know. Hey, the Tesseract has shown me so much. It's, it's more than knowledge. It's truth. I know. What did it show you, Agent Barton? Hey, I know you got these people hypnotized, but can you at least let them sleep and take showers? I know it probably stink up in there, man. If it's not too much trouble. No, no, it's fine. It's a vintage set. Took me a couple of years to collect them all. Near mint. Slight boxing around the edges, but. We got a hit. Shoot, I'll be proud too, because I know them is worth Wait, a lot of money. Match. Especially if you get his signature on all of them too. That boy will probably be a millionaire. I wish I collected like the little troll dolls and uh, the Pokemon cards and the Yu Gi Oh cards. What the hell of money? <laughs> Bro, that suit looks freaking ridiculous. <laughs> The fact that this man doing this in public is insane. Shoot, what would y'all do in this situation? I think I would be in shock. But then if I started hearing gunshots, I'm dipping. Is this not your natural state? Man, just because you see yourself it's above them does not mean this is their humanity. natural state. Of course, the old man not know about this. Like there are no men like me. There are always men like you. Trust me, that old man, he lived through it. The boy was here when dinosaurs were made. You know, the last time I was in Germany, and saw a man standing above everybody else. We ended up disagreeing. The soldier. Loki, drop the weapon and stand down. Wow, you really just gonna bring that damn Gatling gun out when you got a crowd full of civilians? You know that boy a little rusty, you feel me? He hasn't fought anybody in years. You miss me? <laughs> One of the best character intros right here, bro. Making moves, reindeer games. It's crazy. I really thought that this suit was real. Like whenever Tony was wearing the suit right here, but no, basically he wears like the collar and he'll, I think he'll wear like the, the gauntlets, but everything else was just like a CGI mocap suit. Cause I saw the uh, behind the scenes on Iron Man 2. Scared of a little lightning? I'm not overly fond of what follows. We need a plan of attack. I have a plan. Attack. Like they said, he doesn't play well with others. Thought this dude would try to prove him wrong, but okay. That dude said, I ain't changing for nobody. The earth is under my protection, Loki. <laughs> and you're doing a marvelous job with that. You miss the truth of ruling, brother. The throne would suit you ill. <sighs> Man, how do you know? You're not king. You listen well, brother. I do. I'm listening. <laughs> It's funny just how sarcastic everybody is in this movie. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Uh, Shakespeare in the Park? <laughs> Does mother know you wear as her drapes? <laughs> this is deep. That's you. definitely the funniest joke so far. I admire this dude, Tony Stark, a lot. The fact that this man really think he could take on a god, man. Power of 400% capacity. How about that? <laughs> I really didn't even think this dude could uh, hold on as much as he has. <laughs> Yo, that is so fire. That's enough. That's Captain America for you, you feel me? You want me to put the hammer down? Hell yeah. <laughs> Yo! 
the fact that vibranium is just as strong or even stronger than Asgardian metal. Or is Mjolnir Asgardian or is it from a different world or something? This dude really sat there, he didn't leave. Oh my God. <laughs> 30,000 feet straight down in a steel trap. Ant boot. Bitch, I'm a god. That ain't gonna kill me. It's an impressive cage. Built for something a lot stronger than you. Oh, I've heard. How desperate are you? You call on such lost creatures to defend you. How desperate right, am I? Are you just gonna accept that? Ooh, it burns you to have come so close. Well, let me know if real power wants a magazine or something. Shoot, what about some McDonald's, bro? I'm hungry. Well, you got McDonald's in Asgard? Hell yeah, that's fire. Thor, what's his play? He has an army called the Chitauri. They're not of Asgard nor any world known. So how do you know about the army? An army from outer space. So he's building another portal. Yeah, the sky beam. How many movies came out around that time period had a sky beam, bro? I think 2011, 2012 had so many movies come out with a sky beam. He's beyond reason, but he is of Asgard. And he is my brother. He killed 80 people in two days. He's adopted. <laughs> I think it's about the mechanics. Bro, what a brother, man. No hard feelings, point break. You got a mean swing. <laughs> also, <laughs> means the bro, you the one who got your ass whooped, but okay. All right, we're calling it a draw. Oh, I love Tony Stark. Mr. Mass, ship the tough tunes. That what? man is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice. This dude just saying random shit right now. This dude boy, Robert Downey Jr. is killing it. Boy just came in and took everybody's attention. Packet, Subic's notes, the extraction theory papers. Am I the only one who did the readings? He'd have to heat the cube to 120 million Kelvin just to break through the Kulum barrier. Finally, someone who speaks English. Is that I what just happened? What the hell are they talking about? And I'd like to know how Loki used it to turn two of the sharpest men I know into his personal flying monkeys. You don't understand? I do. Yeah. <laughs> this boy Tony is a hater. You know, you should come by Stark Tower sometime. Top 10 floors, all R&D. You'd love it, it's Candyland. Beginning of the bromance, man. What if you recall us and why now? Why not before? What isn't he telling us? Maybe because there was no threat before, Tony. I'm kind of the only name in clean energy right now. That's what he's getting at. So why didn't S.H.I.E.L.D. bring him in on the test right project? I, mean, I think they told him towards the end of his movie that they didn't want to work with him. They just wanted him as a consultant. But then he said no to that, right? So that's his problem. We have orders. We should follow them. Following is not really my style. And you're all about style, aren't you? Of the people in this room, which one is A, wearing a spangly outfit, and B, not a fuse? Tell me none of this smells a little funky to you. Just find the cube. Dude, I can understand where Steve is coming from because like he's a soldier, so he just follows orders, no questions asked. But uh, you know, these groups are real corrupt, man. Now this actually was the first Marvel movie I saw when I was a kid. And then that's when I saw the Incredible Hulk movie. Thing is like, I never actually seen this one all the way through. I've only saw like uh, the part where Iron Man was like aiming at Loki. And uh, then that's when I saw the rest. But I literally only saw this movie that one time. When it first came to us, Loki's rage followed me here, and your people paid the price. And now again, in my youth, I call to the war. That's one of the you things that I don't like about the MCU is you can right. see how the MCU grew with Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man, but then like the Hulk was just there and they skipped past a lot of his growth. Like with this movie, he was talking about how he uh, tried to end himself and the Hulk spit the bullet out. I would have loved to see that. They showed it in the video game, but they didn't show it in the movie. And like at the end of the Incredible Hulk movie, they showed him getting a little bit better control and a better relationship with the Hulk, but uh, they could have shown us a little more and they've just been doing that a lot i want to know what you've done to agent barton i'd say i've expanded his mind once you're king of the mountain damn look at that fit oh what happens to his mind is this love agent romanoff love is for children i owe him a debt girl how can a woman like you not be in love can you wipe out that much red Drakov's daughter sao paulo barton told me everything it's gushing red, and you think saving a man no more virtuous than yourself will change anything? This is the basest sentimentality. Beautiful direction right here, this man. This a child of prayer. I forgot that they did something like that. I won't touch Barton, not until I make him kill you. Slowly, intimately. And then he'll wake just long enough to see his good work. And when he screams, I'll split his skull. This is my bargain, you mewling quim. This dude has so many great monologues in this movie, man. You're a monster. You brought the monster. 
So, Banner. That's your play. What? You're you're a f idiot. Yeah, I don't know how y'all couldn't figure that out. He was talking about Banner when Nick Fury interrogated him. Phase two is S.H.I.E.L.D. uses the cube to make weapons. Rogers, we gathered everything related to the Tesseract. This does not mean I'm that we're I'm sorry, making... Nick. What, were you lying? You're I don't even think that would be a, hard to figure out, man. Because whenever we find out something new, especially when it's like a certain type of power like this, they want to turn it into some weapons. A nuclear some... deterrent, because that always calms everything right down. Remind me again how you made your fortune, Stark. I'm sure if you still made weapons, Stark would be neck deep. Wait, wait, hold on. How is this now about me? I mean, he was trying to stand up for you, bro. Was... Come on now. Dang, let somebody finish talking. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off. What are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. You're not the guy to make the sacrifice play, to lay down on a wire and let the other guy crawl over you. I think I would just cut the wire. Always a way out. That boy Bruce look insane, man. You're a laboratory experiment, Rogers. Everything special about you came out of a bottle. Why are you hating on this man so much? I think I, I think I know why he's hating on him because his dad wouldn't shut up about him when he was growing up and he never really felt love from his dad like he wanted. So yeah, okay. And now that he's met this man, he's like, bro, this dude ain't all that shit like my dad was saying. Put on the suit, let's go a few rounds. <laughs> you people are so petty. Hell yeah, they are petty. Yeah. It's crazy, y'all say petty in Asgard? Wow. Wow. That boy Loki is petty. You rent in my room. The cell was just in, in case you needed to kill me, but you can't. I know, I tried. Hey, damn, you uh, want a therapist? Got, well, we got a therapist on the ship. Him. And so I put a bullet in my mouth, and the other guy spit it out. I ask you want to know my secret, Agent Romanoff? You want to know how I stay calm? Put down the scepter. You tell me this dude's about to turn into the Hulk while holding the freaking scepter? That would have been a badass. Romanoff! Natasha, you can't be in that position, girl. That position dangerous. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? I like how this dude was wearing the purple shirt instead of wearing the purple short. Girl, if you don't run. Now, I know that they wanted the Hulk to look a little bit close to how he was looking in the comics with his like original design, but I don't like how they had him look in this movie. I like the design they had for him in Thor Ragnarok. That was fire, but I also don't like how short they made him. What's it look like in there? It seems to run on some form of electricity. Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> Help him out, Stark. You already know damn well this dude don't know what the hell he's looking at. Oh. That's a great scare right there. Probably one of my favorite Hulk scenes, man. Oh. Dang, this boy was back to pimp slapper. <laughs> I've been running my ass off too, bro. That's the Hulk. We are not your enemies, Banner. Try to think. <laughs> right here is incredible i already know that was a shot right there that probably a lot of people in the theater were like cheering and going crazy oh the boy slick with it you know, i would love to see the hulk use mjolnir man or stormbreaker Looks so good, I love it. How could they disrespect the Hulk so much? Bro, come on man, it's Captain America. One punch should have knocked him out. Captain America, if you just don't shoot this man in the head, you already killed one person. What? Bro, really? This dude had an arrow specifically for that? Does anybody copy? This is Agent Romanoff. I copy. Beautiful acting right there. That's the first time she ever seen something like that, so she was genuinely terrified. No! Are you ever not going to fall for that? <laughs> I can see why a lot of people love this movie, bruh. I really thought this movie was overhyped the first time I saw it, but nah, this is fire. Move away, please. Okay, a weapon like that, yeah, I don't think you can survive that. Even I don't know what it does. You wanna find out? Ah! 
damn, I wanted to see him shoot the freaking gun. But then that dude actually didn't die. But he did die because the show is not canon anymore. So, But I know a lot of people don't like to hear that because they love that show. <laughs> How you still up after something like that? It's kind of like a zero gravity room. I would love to go to one of those. Your heroes are scattered. Your floating fortress falls from the sky. Where is my disadvantage? You lack conviction. I don't think I... Wow, all that, and it doesn't do anything to him. I forget that he actually did shoot the gun. I'm clocked out here. Not an option. It's okay, boss. This was never gonna work. They didn't have something to So this dude faked his death to inspire the team of the Avengers? I guess that's a good way to fake your death. Agent Coulson is down. They called it. Love that shot, man. These were in Phil Coulson's jacket. Guess he never did get you to sign them. Damn, you could have just handed them to me, bitch. All right, they got blood all over your table. I got nothing for you. Lost my one good eye. Maybe I had that coming. Yeah, you did, because you was freaking playing with that damn alien too damn much. They kept telling you to chill the hell out, but you was like, no, I, I like the alien. There was an idea. Stark <laughs> oh. knows this. So do I. I know it too. I saw Called the trailer. the Avengers Initiative. See if they could work together when we needed them to, to fight the battles that we never could. I wonder if they'll ever bring Phil Coulson back to the movies, man. Or actually, no, no, no. Like I said, that's just, it's not canon no more. Yeah, I keep forgetting. He fell out of the sky, big and green and buck-ass nude. <laughs> Where the hell his pants go? You an alien? What? I'm out of space, an alien. This dude's no. so calm with it. Well then, son, you've got a condition. I appreciate that, old timer. Have you ever had someone take your brain and play? Pull you out. Stuff something else in. You know that I do. This is Loki. This is monsters and magic and nothing we were ever trained for. How'd you get him out? Cognitive recalibration. Probably could have splashed his dirty ass with some water too. Oh, that boy hadn't took a shower in weeks. It's cool to see a relationship like, like this where it, it doesn't involve romance. Cause you kind of get tired of seeing that in movies. Was he married? No, there was a uh, cellist, I think. What? What? <laughs> what the hell is that? You should have waited. You should have. Sometimes there isn't a way out, Tony. Right. Is this the first time you lost a soldier? We are not soldiers. I think I the, uh, I like to take the Robert Downey Jr. is going sure. right here with it's Tony, because he's not used to this. He was definitely not ready for something like this. Even though he's got into some scuffles in Iron Man 1 and 2, this is different. You got a suit? Yeah. And suit up. I love this piece of music right here, man. I wish that they brought this back into like some future MCU movies. That type of music that gets you hype, man. Shut it down, Dr. Selvig. It's too late. He wants to show us something. A new universe. Okay. You need to show your ass that shower. I mean, both of them kind of got similar character traits. Close stick of destiny. Would you like a drink? Stalling me won't change anything. No, no, no. Threatening. The Chitari are coming. What have I to fear? The Avengers. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what we call ourselves. Sort of like this whole fing time. This whole time. The movie's almost over now. Damn it! I hate that. You've managed to piss off every single one of them. That was the plan. Not a great plan. I have an army. We have a Hulk. Because if we can't protect the Earth, you can be damn well sure we'll avenge it. That's fire. That sounded like something that was in the comics. <laughs> this usually works. All well, performance issues, you know. Deploy! That was probably one of the best scenes in a movie so far. Love 
this scene, bro. I love stuff like that. I wish I could do that in a video game or something. No, I, for the people who read the comics, what has this army done? The Chitauri, because I don't read comic books. Snap, there go that girl Ellie from The Last of Us. Loki, turn off the Tesseract or I'll destroy it. You can't. There is no stopping it. I mean, we already went through this before, Loki, and I somewhat whooped your ass. Shoot, at least the cops are doing their job by just showing up. Oh, thanks. Thanks for nothing. You're welcome. <laughs> Man, y'all should have came in a little bit more smooth, man. Or y'all could have at least dropped off Captain America and we could have jumped his ass. Now that's what I call falling with style. I, I understood that reference. Look at the dude in the striped shirt, bro. That boy dip it. Boy put on the boosters. <laughs> Come on, man. How I think everybody deserves a brother like Thor. This dude, Loki, would damn near kill this man, his girl, probably rob his ass, and this dude Thor would still be like, hey man, that's my brother, I love him, and, and still try to stray him in the right path. Man, I love Captain America, bro. I think this was the movie that made me love Captain America. I need a perimeter as far back as 39th. Why the hell should I take orders from you? This boy does not know Captain America. The disrespect. Thought everybody would know who Captain America is. <laughs> Badass. Hey, she learned how to use their weapons quick. I love how agile they are. Like, they can hold their own. Just, you know, I wish Ant-Man and the Wasp was here. He's gonna need us to... Uh, this is one of the best scenes in all of the MCU right here, man. I don't know if this is at 60 frames or not, but I've seen the 60 frame videos on YouTube. That is so amazing. Dr. Banner, now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Cap. I'm always angry. Seeing this shit at his kid, bro, just grew my love for the Hulk, man. Listen to that scream. Shoot, that worm was like, well, damn, was not expecting that. I wish they would have done this scene again in like the later Avengers movies. That's like the most iconic scene. Or no, I'll say that's like one of the most iconic scenes in all of cinematic history, bro. I want you on that roof, eyes on everything, call out patterns and strays. Stark, you got the perimeter. Anything gets more than three blocks out, you turn it back or you turn it to ash. You give me a lift? Right, better clench up like a loss. I love hearing that joke. Slow him down. He got the lightning. And Hulk, smash. That's one of the things I love about Captain America is that he's the leader, but it's just like, they don't never have him as the face of Marvel though. And like, this dude's the leader. It's like they either got Iron Man or Spider-Man or Wolverine. That's the, he just needs to keep doing that and we'll win. <laughs> oh, snap, I forget all about this moment. You sure about this? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Nice throw! It's incredible what the normal people are capable of in the MCU as well. Like, they basically got superpowers too. Who the hell could do what the hell Natasha just did right there? See, and this is what Marvel's Avengers should have been, bro. They were just too small-minded, man. Like, I would have loved to relive this whole fight scene in that video game. Oh, he was bonding, bro. I don't know why they kept showing this girl off. Like, was they hinting that that was his daughter or something? Like, what in the world? Or they just wanted to show somebody off who's a civilian and we can see through their eyes. I mean, like, it was, of course it's not his daughter. But hey, that boy did f somebody and she was blind too. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> He already knew it was up. Had two hair flips back to back. There you go, another one of the most iconic scenes in all of cinematic history. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. <laughs> oh my god.
<laughs> it's a good way to shut somebody up. Puny God. They're doing a good job though. It just seems like they just keep coming. And I understand it's only like six of them, so. Stark, you hear me? You have a missile headed straight for the city. It's always surprising me just how there are so people who will really just follow orders without questioning, man. We got a nuke coming in. It's gonna blow in less than a minute. And I know just where to put it. I think I heard some people was saying some negative stuff about this part of the movie. I forgot specifically what they were saying though. That's wild that they really wanted to shoot a nuke out on their own people, man. I understand that there's aliens there, but come on, man, all those innocent lives. Oh, now I remember what people were saying. They didn't like how they all died after he blew up the mothership. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That boy Hulk always come in clutch, you feel me? Damn, why you gotta throw him off like that, though? Y'all not gonna rip the chest piece off so y'all can give him CPR or something? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's probably happened? one of the scariest Hulk screams right Please here. There's a shawarma joint about two blocks from here. I don't know what it is, but I want to try it. Never had it. Even after seeing the end credit scene to this movie, I still never had shawarma. How does it taste, y'all, for the people who had it? Amazing shot, bro. If it's all the same to you, I'll have that drink now. Yeah, give him a drink, you feel me? Give him the whole bottle. I don't exactly feel safe with those thieves out there. It just seems like there's a lot they're not telling us. Superheroes in New York. Oh shit, that boy Stan Lee. Hell yeah. R.I.P. man. And I love this whole scene right here. Cause I feel like a lot of people would react like this. Probably a little bit more people scared, but that's whatever. So you let him take it and the war criminal Loki who should be answering for his crime. Oh, I think he will. So we gotta find out what happened in Thor 2 the Dark World. Okay. Heck yeah, Avengers Tower, bro. Bro, this movie is fire. Like I said, I haven't seen this movie since it came out in the theater. I think I saw this movie like a month after it came out and we showed up late and uh we were about to leave too before the movie even ended because my mom she is not into movies like this but she let us stay, she left herself. And uh yeah, I enjoyed this movie so much. Ew, look at that boy's hand, He's looking white. I wonder who they had originally as Thanos in that scene. For all the people, yes, I'm gonna watch the end credit scene here. But I will say, I do appreciate y'all for inviting me, even though y'all barely talk to me. And I don't even know if y'all listening. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, uh, uh Natasha. Uh, now since y'all saved the world and everything, uh, I was wondering if I could get the opportunity to take you out and we can get to know each other. N Natasha? <laughs> I don't think she heard me. <laughs> Natasha. Black Widow. All right, everybody. And that was The Avengers, bro. And I loved watching this movie again. And actually seeing the full movie this time and this was amazing seeing just so many great performances seeing all these characters interacting with each other and just seeing the chemistry amongst each other and just all the great shots the great set pieces the great moments so many good action scenes like the fight scene between iron man and thor that right there is legendary man and just the whole ending of the movie was fantastic and also Seeing the fight scene between Thor and the Hulk was such a good fight scene too, even though they didn't really show that much of it because they was cut in between so many other things, but the parts that they did show was fantastic. Like I was saying earlier, I loved seeing just the potential that they had with a lot of these character story. I know a lot of people feel like Iron Man probably had the most important arc throughout the whole MCU, and I can understand that because he was the start of the MCU. Now, I know there's gonna be a lot of people gonna be like, oh no, it was Blade, but no, we're talking about the MCU. I'm not talking about Marvel movies or comic book movies in general. I'm talking about the MCU, bro. To see how his story pretty much concluded 
in Endgame, I can understand why people will be like, oh yeah, he had the most important arc. But for me, I feel like the person who had the most important arc throughout all the MCU is Thor, especially seeing how his character was in the first movie and seeing how much he grown in this movie. I will say that Captain America's story is probably more important than Iron Man's story. Every single movie he's had throughout the MCU has pretty much had an impact on the MCU and it has changed something with the MCU and all the other characters connected to it. And it has changed his character as well as he has grown from that kid that he was in the 40s to now this man, this leader. I will actually go ahead and give this movie an A. I would like to hear the grades y'all have for this movie as well. And what are y'all favorite moments? Who's your favorite characters and stuff? You know, you can follow me on all my social medias. Links will be down in the description below. And if you'd like to see my full link reactions to the movies I do, TV shows I do, you can click the link down below in the description to my Patreon. And with all that being said, I'll see you on the next one. All right, peace. Looks good, man. I wish I would have ordered me some.